One of Australia's richest men, Tim Gurner, has apologized after he said that unemployment should jump to remind arrogant workers of their place. Speaking during a property summit, the 41-year-old said the COVID-19 pandemic had changed employees' attitudes and work ethics for the worse, singling out builders as an example. I think the problem that we've had is that we've, you know, we, we have... People decided they didn't really want to work so much anymore through COVID, and that has had a massive issue on productivity. You know, tradies have definitely pulled back on productivity. You know, they, they have been paid, paid a lot to do not too much in the last few years, and we need to see that change. He also stated, we need to see pain in the economy for our people to advance. He has previously made headlines by suggesting young people cannot afford homes because they spend too much on avocado toast. Video of his comments has gone viral, attracting over 23 million views and strong criticism online. The gym owner turned a real estate mogul claimed that shift is hitting productivity in the sector, which combined with tougher regulations is fueling Australia's housing shortage. We need to see unemployment rise. Unemployment has to jump 40, 50% in my view. We need to see pain in the economy. We need to remind people that they work for the employer, not the other way around. I mean, there is a, there's been a systematic change where employees feel the employer is extremely lucky to have them, um, as opposed to the other way around. He proposed the country's current unemployment rate of 3.7% should rise by 40 to 50% to reduce arrogance in the employment market, which would see more than 200,000 people losing their jobs. He has since apologized for his insensitive remarks. It's a dynamic that has to change. We've got to kill that attitude and that has to come through hurting the economy, which is what the whole global, you know, the, the world is trying to do. The governments around the world are trying to increase unemployment to get that to some sort of normality, and we're seeing it. I think every employer now is seeing it. I mean, there is definitely massive layoffs going off. People might not be talking about it, but people are definitely laying people off, and we're starting to see less arrogance in the employment market, and that has to continue, because that will cascade across the cost balance.